and a half pairs because half of one of the pairs was killed in this trap. So there are some questions, especially because the Prince of Wu is taking over the running of Sandringham Estate. We know how the working estate, as Buckingham Palace tell us. On that working estate, they have traps to protect the game birds, the pheasants, and the partridge. Though traps have caught an owl, which is a protected species. The traps killed it, so the police have had to look into this whole issue. Miss Robinson said there was a photograph of one of the owls that was caught in these traps, and it's called a fan trap. Fan traps are illegal, but they can be used for some specific types of species. They can be used for squirrels and rats and state and make controversy surrounding the use of illegal traps on local wildlife. Reports that traps on the Roy family's Sandringham estate have killed an endangered owl have been met with fury. The Queen, who is currently running the working estate, has been accused of harboring the illegal traps, leading the police to investigate the issue. Roy Rhoda podcast hosts Chris Shipp and Lizzie Robinson discussed the incident, adding that Prince Charles is set to take control. Mr. Chip told listeners, The Queen does run an estate in Sandringham, and that's how much he cares about the environment and organic matters. Mr. Chip added, So there are some questions for the Royals about why they still have these traps when they are more humane ones. There's one like the OC trap, which has been approved by the New Zealand Conservation Department. Queen gives control of Sandringham to Charles after estate caught with illegal traps. The Queen is allowing her son, Prince Charles, to take over the running of the Royal Sandringham and things, but they can't be used if they're going to kill stoats and owls because they are endangered. Actually, I was told when I made some inquiries about this that there are two pairs of little owls living around this particular area of Sandringham. She continued, there's now one for example. Here's the Royal families preaching about conservation all the time, but still have these traps in place. The National Anti-Snaring Campaign found 10 of these fan traps very recently in December still in use. The palace has described the incident as unfortunate and isolated, adding that Sandringham does adhere to all the appropriate standards and regulations that it are required of it.